Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury from my echo chamber. <laughs> We're getting this whole place carpeted next week, so hopefully there won't be an issue going forward. But we do have to get the house ready for that, so not a lot of time to record. But fortunately, this one doesn't need a lot of time. In the background, you can see a couple of fights I threw together, just uh, 1v1, uh, my cyclone versus my spike tail, and none of the craft have any missiles, and when you do that and start a competition in BD Armoury, they just sort of fly towards each other and fire guns at each other, and... Um, if you just got Vulcans like both these craft around with, you're not going to get a kill straight away, but that got me thinking, what would it take for you to get a kill straight away? Like, maybe not 100% of the time, but as, as close to as is realistically possible. What would it take to be consistently lethal in a single pass? Let's, uh, let's find out, shall we? So I'm doing this Cyclone vs Cyclone, like for like, just try and get it as a, a fair as test as possible, and um, I've done a Joust version with uh, double the number of Vulcans, four instead of two. I'm going to try and get a bit of a spread with these experiments just to try and make sure that it can be lethal but not with a super accurate direct hit. Um, this first pass doesn't really go to plan. Uh, four Vulcans is not enough and uh, it even loses the follow-up fight which sort of hints at a growing problem that will become more obvious a little bit later. For the second fight, I have abandoned sensible design and uh, up the number of Vulcans to eight and got a bit more of a spread on them. Um, it's still not quite enough and also with all this additional stuff with the Vulcans and the beams, uh, yeah, this thing's getting heavy and quite nose heavy and the, uh, the non-joust Vulcan finishes off the fight with ease. I think we're going to need something a bit, a bit more powerful than the Vulcan. So, onto the Gara 22, a more powerful weapon, uh, not quite as tight a firing cone, so maybe a bit more of a, a shotgun effect, which was a little bit what I was going for. Um, doesn't work very well here, though. Um, no kill on the first pass, and then, as I said, when you're strapped with this much weight, it's do or die. 8 really doesn't work then, but uh, what about 12? 12 might be the magic number. So, uh, 12 Gara 22 Pro goes into the joust, and what do you know? It does kill the opponent, fantastic, but I don't just want a one-off, I want to know if it'll do it every time. I don't have time to test every time, I'm just going to say, if it does it twice in a row, that's probably good enough. Um, and on the second attempt, it it failed. It failed and then got traded. Um, so, 12 isn't enough, but I don't think I'm going to leave anything to chance for the next one. Okay, 12 wasn't the magic number. But maybe we've been overlooking the answer all along. It's the Gal 22. Maybe 22 is the number we're after. So a 22 Gal 22 craft goes up into its first joust. It's a kill. But how about the second one, though? What do you know? It works again. So I think we have the answer here. Uh, if anybody from Boeing or Lockheed is, is, is watching, yay. You know, strap your craft up with 22 Gal 22s and you're laughing. Um, <laughs> there is... One thing I want to try before we go, though. So I'm going to do this last one properly rather than just in post-commentary, um, because I was trying to avoid turrets, because turrets, it's kind of cheating, but I just want to see... These don't have much of a gimbal, and I just wanted to see what would happen if we tried this with 16 houses. I mean, apart from the fact that the damn thing will hardly be able to move, let's, um, let's get this one going. Okay, here we go. It might actually be able to release some of them. Okay, it does actually manage a shot. <laughs> no, no, I think, I think this was a flawed concept. Damn it, I am. I really want to get this to work. <laughs> but we're sort of out of time and here comes the ground, so... Um... As with most of our fights today, the uh, the cyclone, the ordinary cyclone does win. I will, I will get that to work. You mark my words. That will be all for today, though. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, uh, maybe following me on Twitter, possibly getting involved with the Discord. Great KSP and BD Army community on there and more besides. And they are great at solving any of your BD Army or KSP uh, related questions that you have. Um, all those links in the description, as well as to the PayPal and the Patreon. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like you will at Kerman here, as well as um, access to the Patreon in your Discord, anything upload to Patreon. Not a lot going on with those last two at the moment, but someday, someday soon. 
I will be back soon with some more, uh, hopefully slightly less echoey BD armory, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.